Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video was gonna be an exciting day and it is still for some people. Ugh. So basically, um, close to where we live, the next city over, um, offers these super fun airplane rides hour-long airplane rides just for people to take their kids on for family things for like a family event um and you can sign up for them and go on these family airplane rides and the girls have never been on an airplane and the last time i went i was pregnant with sophia and i puked everywhere it was terrible but anyway so we uh, sam sam and not me sam always wants to go always plans it and we woke up this morning, we went to bed. I went to bed so late, but the girls went to bed early. We woke up this morning, we're ready to go, and I just realized I have a sinus infection. I cannot go on an airplane. I would burst my eardrums probably because there's so much congestion. I've been taking these Dayquil pills trying to get the fluid out. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday, but I can't go. I can't even go with my family. That's heartbreaking to me because I oh I always do everything with them. Like this is terrible. I hate it. I'm going to have to sit in the airport while they go. Sophia already cried. It made me want to cry. I can't risk it though. I need to be able to hear. A little miss. <laughs> Color coordinated. I can't believe. Like she's starting to really put outfits together. Oh my God, like God. a teenager. There's chills in the air. It's freezing. There's chills <laughs> in the air. There's chills in the air. Okay, so we're going on an airplane for an hour and Sophie packed a bag. <laughs> Of Schleich. Schleich. Of Schleich. Like, who knows? Who knows what could happen in an hour? Van. They make it get... What? Why? We're taking the van? Why? I like that outfit, Gabby. Usually we don't always agree, but yeah. To get there on time for the flight, we have to get up at the crack of dawn. That's why my eyes look like this. All exhausted. Sam couldn't sleep last night. He was tossing and turning. I'm like, stop it! <laughs> I was tossing and turning. You were telling me to go to bed early. Yeah, I told him to go to bed early. It's 11.30. I'm like, go to bed now because we do not want to grouchy Sam. Are you going to stay here? I have to stay here. Well, you're lucky because you just play on the play gym. There's a play gym? Getting ready to go on a plane, and what did you bring? Let's look. Let's see what does Sophie pack? In There's here? candy in this. What did you pack in here? Slide. What did you pack? My new slide course. The fences. Slide course. Uh oh. Take everything out of my pocket. No. Wait, does the count? Nope. And you're oh, yeah. oh my god. We made it through the first part. We made it through the scanner. Yeah. Have fun. One try. Alright. It's cold inside. Cold, let's go. Might as well go all the way to the back, man. That's the bumpy ride in the back. <laughs> there we go. Grab a seat. You want? You want to sit by the window? Excited? Your first plane trip. I think this is too tight for me. Put your zebra on. It's too tight. You got it. It, it pulls so far. I think I got one on. Yeah, that's clipped in and tight enough so that the children are not sitting in there quite as big as they can. You know what I mean? That's good enough. Yeah. Doesn't have to be too tight. How's yours? Good now? You ready for the bump? 
scared of heights. Ladies and gentlemen, your aircraft commander and crew welcome you on board. All right, we're ready. Are you nervous? Have your seatbelt this time. Are you nervous? Can I see back a bit? We are in the back of the plane. We're in the back of the plane. It means if we were to crash, the tail would go first. And we'd fly out the back. Don't worry, we're fine. But in all those movies, the tail always goes first. You ever watch those movies? The tail flings out first, and then we go Oops, better not get scared now. That's the table if you're going to eat. We're going. Or draw. This is a big deal. This is your first time on a plane. You're going to see when we take off, all the cars get smaller, the houses get smaller. I don't know. People the people look like, look little, like ants. little ants. Yeah. Fun. I've seen people in a flying car because, yeah. Flying car? In a movie. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for takeoff, Ensure your seat belt is fastened. Your seat back is in the upright position. Your table tray is stowed. Your armrests are down and your window shades are open. To hear any announcements, headsets must now be removed and the use of all electronic devices, including cell phones, must be discontinued at this time as they may interfere with our navigational and communication equipment. If, you, you should, if you're sitting, you should be have it buckled. So, what do you think? Wait, did we unbuckle yes or no? Not if you're sitting. If you need to go to the bathroom, then unbuckle. Anyways, how do you like it? Such like the truck. That's the plane we were on. A picture in front of the plane. A picture in front of the plane. Hey. All right, you guys, they finished the flight. It was the best flight that they've ever gone on. Last time I went, I went on this little teeny tiny airplane that didn't have any windows, and I was pregnant with Sophia, and I threw up the whole entire time. It was I horrible. Did. Gabby was a baby and loved it. She was two. No, I threw up. The no, you, only me and Nick threw up. Yeah, anyway, we are headed out now. Um, I'm gonna give you guys um, a few seconds to guess where we're headed. I know you're probably already gonna guess it because of the title, but anyway, it's true. We're headed to the tech store, and I've I got an incredible horsey story for you. Okay, so my story starts with Storm. He is such a good horse, but right from the beginning, he's always been a grouchy kind of horse. He's always been testy. Now you guys don't see it a lot, but especially at the beginning, a lot of people were freaking out because anytime anything isn't perfect, 
he throws a fit. If he doesn't like something, then he always throws a fit. And he only just throws a little fit. Like, he'll do a baby buck where he just like pretends like he's about to buck so that we know. Um, and then we always try and figure out what's wrong with him. Or he, well, he just throws a, throws his head up and pins his ears. Like, nothing ever is really wrong with him, but he's testy. He, he's, uh, he's always been a testy horse like an old man. His old owners have said that and we've seen that ourselves. So uh, we loved him. He was a little testy. Everybody knew he was kind of testy and it was no big deal. But it was to me. I kept wondering like why why does it get so grouchy? That is cool. Look at how cute. Yeah like this is such a nice blanket. It's like a cooler. It's so nice. It's like a stable sheet. Fleece rug. Yeah, it's made out of fleece, but if this stuff gets wet, it takes this forever is to dry. The size of storm. So I talked with my friends, and I did a bunch of reading, and I was always worried that he had an ulcer. And I talked with more friends, and I talked with my vet, and they were like, he does not have an ulcer. Like, he really did not present with any indication that he had an ulcer. So uh, this is the saddle pad Sam ordered, and we got a different one instead. What? Yeah, it's supposed to look like yellow and yeah, yeah, and it does not feel this feels like fleece The other one feels like rabbit fur. Yeah, they sell baby powder at the tax store oh, And so it is $3.99 so normal price And peroxide We really need to get a first aid kit going especially since we're taking our horses places So Gabby, what are you oh, looking for? It's this stuff Hair moisturizer. Gabby's here to get this actually grows Storm's mane from like really That's short, not the same short stuff. mane. Yeah, it is. You get the little bottle with like the spray bottle at Bridal Pass. No, yours was light pink. Uh you add water to it, mom, and it turns pink. There's this no is way. the color that it was. This is not, this is no, moisture. it's different the stuff you bought. Totally different brand. All right, so the stuff that I came for was called Gastroflex, and it's here, but they don't, this is the brand, but they don't have any. So apparently, more people use it than just us. I want to grow her um, mane. Still like, has a perfect really mane. She does not need anything for no, her No, like mane. on the white, because it's a bit short. But it's growing. It's just that it was cut short. She, she rubbed yeah. it. Yeah. You're not eating a lick it. No, like the rainbow licket, I don't think they have it here right now, but the rainbow licket, oh my god, that tastes amazing. I've tried it. Oh my god, it's like so good. It's like cake. Chocolate cake. Alright, tell us in the comments below. If you went to the, to the tax store, would you buy yourself a licket to eat? My thing, get the banana licket. Yeah, banana would be my favorite or too. Pear. But I like these. I know. I want to get one of um, the small ones for her. And this, but not until she she's done losing weight. Yet. Maybe at Christmas. Kay. Maybe Santa will bring her. How about for my birthday? The trailer. It's a trailer grooming bag. Oh, that's neat. So you just hang it up in the trailer because it's like Velcro. That is super here. cool. Mom. That is super and cool. And then I brought it okay. We need to get Storm a new hay bag. Yes. Okay. So and whose birthday is coming up? Mine. Right. When's your birthday? October twentieth. Right, so in about six weeks, this girl is turning nine. Nine. Do you have plans for your party? Uh, not yet, but I do want to have like a briar themed birthday party at the barn. A what? Fleet themed? Briar. A briar themed? But you collect schleich. So? So really? Oh my gosh. Schleich. This is news to me. So you want this this briar to be at the at the briar themed party? Yes. Hmm. So, like, as a decoration? For me to play oh, with. Oh, for you to play with. I see. And then I want that gypsy banner back there. Oh, that so is so my... That's what I want at my birthday party, because my birthday party is a month after Sophie's birthday party. It's mine. You I want that at... I, have it. I want it at my birthday party. It's my precious pony. I love that. It looks like a paint, which is my favorite, and it's brown and white, which is my favorite color of paint. But it's and it's a gypsy. gypsy. Love that. I actually do have a very small collection of Briar. We had we started collecting those before they knew about Schleich. 
Because this guy looks like an all right. That's I'm the Man not... of War guy. There's a movie. We should watch it. No, I want this guy because I can name him Chance. Um, this would be Aww, that Oh, that makes me sad. And then I can use that um, pack to put on this horse and stuff. All right, well, the jury is want... still out on the Briar themed party. You guys don't know, but next weekend is the girls' last show, and it is a big show because they didn't do any champions or any reserve champions are saving it for the very last show so whoever wins champion and reserve champion will be like champion over the whole season this summer so yeah that's happening next week i'm excited uh lessons start up again this week we had a week for a break for a week so yeah lots of exciting things happening this week i read a lot of stories i read stories about people who treat their horses for um ulcers just naturally using stuff like aloe vera juice they give it to them all the time and their horse never had an ulcer and then i read stories saying never give your horse aloe vera juice because they get really sick and have diarrhea and then i'd read another story and i'd be like oh that is such a good thing to do and then i'd read another story saying that exact opposite of why you shouldn't do it so then it was back to square one look at you guys we met some subscribers what's your name alexa. sorry alexa alexa Olivia. And Olivia. Oh, are you guys sisters? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Your names yeah. go really good together. Good job, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, that's so nice. You guys live close? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Right. It's nice to see you. <laughs> guys, those beautiful girls that we just met, they were the same ages as our girls. So, the first one, same age as Gabby. And she's so short, so tiny. Gabby, you're a giant. And the other one, as so tiny, is the same age as Sophia's five days older. I'm five foot something. I'm not five foot three. I'm taller than that. Yeah, she grew a lot Maybe this summer. Maybe like five foot five. Yeah, two of the best magazines to get right now. The new catalog. For I have this. And the Schleich catalog and I, for 2018. And I maybe have this, but that'll be good for like. Christmas. They're like, let's look at it. <laughs> okay, so that store did not have what I needed, so we're headed to the other. Um, tax store. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with my story. So I had been wondering about an ulcer, and Strip does not have an ulcer. I talked about it. I talked around and around and around in circles, and it was getting nowhere. Nobody thinks that he has an ulcer. I still agree he probably doesn't have an ulcer. Um, but then I ended up talking to some more friends, and they were saying, you know, my horse was the same, like, just with the head, and just disagreeable and I just try him on an ulcer guard and I was like okay I'm gonna do it and then in a typical Laura fashion it took me forever to figure out what I was gonna get him because nobody wanted me to give him an ulcer medication because he didn't have an ulcer so I persevered and finally I asked her trainer and she said this is what our vet recommends whenever we suspect an ulcer um, so we ended up buying this stuff called Ultra, no, Gast Gastroflex from Greenhawk, and it's all natural. There's nothing in there that's gonna harm them. It's not like a strong medication. It's just a natural thing, and it just kind of coats their belly. It, it's not, it's just a preventative almost. And um, I took it home. I just bought a small bottle, and I took it home, and I gave it to him. I was so excited, and nothing happened, nothing use the exact same horse as ever before and obviously yeah he didn't have an ulcer and that was not the reason why he was disagreeable for so long our horse star would look like a pumpkin in that orange looks yes. good on him it's cute do you like it but really does he need a blanket before halloween he no. already has red rain sheets so let's go yeah please have it no i need the big bottle Right, there's big bottles further down of some of it, and some are on the ground. Uh, what's it called, Gabby? Gastroflex. Mom, is okay. Gabby is this the stuff? Uh, so basically, Gabby was right. She's been using this stuff on Storm's Mane and likes it. She loves it. Um, it's her thing. I think it's cool that she has her own idea but look at this. horse stuff is so much money $23.99 for two dollars okay so um i know that a lot of supplements take a little while to work so we decided to just keep them on the supplement and just take notice of any changes this is the one that i'm getting i need this one because storm flips over his hay net yeah our hay bags we have these uh stella has one like this that has 
holes on both sides and it works really good for her. And, it and works Storm good for has one that only has one hole and and he flips it around so it goes like this. So then he just gets himself all worked up in the trailer because he can't get the hay. Cause no, he, he plays with it because yeah. he gets bored in the trailer. Yeah. So after our show this weekend, you can put Stella's um, thing. Storms. Stella and Storm. Brow Stella, bands. Yeah, Storm and Stella's brow bands back on them. I like, I like diamonds Wait, for Stella. Why can't I put Stella's on? You can. Oh, yeah, you can put Stella's on whenever you want because she's not going to the show. Yeah, this is a nice bridle though. But what kind is it? It has the flash. I like that brow band too. It's beautiful. These are the reins that Sophia has, which I'm not getting. These reins are slippery. Oh, do they have more of the... I hate these reins. Do you? Why? Um, I was told to get them for Gabby too. I'm not. Get them. I'm not putting them on. <laughs> Get them! Does it feel like you're being punished or you're like a baby if you have to wear rainbow reins? Yes. You know what? I love these things because I literally can hold on so much better. When you better. get a horse, you can um, have She's... nine of those. <laughs> They're like, get rid of those reins. They hate those reins. So uh, basically, uh, three weeks after starting Storm on this supplement, he suddenly was drastic different three weeks later he had changed so much I was just standing there watching Gabby ride him with my mouth hanging open he no that grouchy old man kind of horse was gone I mean literally gone he I almost looks like to me like if he could stand there and smile all the time to stand there smiling that would be storm now like he's just a happier happier horse he doesn't throw fits anymore I mean he does if you put a uh, uh, ear bonnet on him and canter and it flaps on his face he still will throw a little fit but he is a totally different horse you guys like it I, I I'm shocked like it blows me away how much our horse has changed from being on this supplement so um this is what we started him on it's called a gastra fx I tried it today that's why we went to the tax stores I tried to get um, a big huge bottle that you can just pump it um, because I only bought a, a small bottle much bigger than this this is a sample size um, I just to try it and, and now that I've tried it not only do I love it I'm gonna start Stella on it too I can tell that it would be super beneficial for her and um, yeah, so uh, this is what it's called. It's called Gastro FX. Um, everybody still thinks that he doesn't have an ulcer, and he probably doesn't have an ulcer. But all this does is kind of like um, a Pepto Bismol, just coats his stomach so that he won't get an ulcer. It's um, just gentle and natural, all natural, and whatever it's doing for him, it's amazing. And I am so glad that I tried it, that I. Um, stuck with it trying to figure out I've been trying to figure out ulcer stuff since Sabrina you guys and I'm so glad that we found this stuff and I'm so glad that he has it and that it's what he needed and it feels like now he can finally be the exact horse he was meant to be comment below if you guys have noticed any changes in storm in the last month Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.